What's going on guys? I think it's time to go camping. All right, what's going on guys? We are out here on the family day long weekend in Tomogamy and we're pretty excited to have a hot tenting adventure. So we had some difficulties getting in. There's a lot of roads that aren't plowed. So Tosser had sent me a bunch of trip ideas that we could potentially do in the area. Like you had like four different options. Four different options and we were, we were dead set on one until about 10 minutes before actually going off to it. We realized the road was completely closed, talking to some locals. Yeah, so like no idea what the road conditions were gonna be like <laughs> up here. And uh, yeah, it turns out, one, just roads in general up here, not all of them are plowed. And then two, we've gotten so much snow this year that it like our options are even less. So we launched on Castles Lake and we're gonna try to make our way towards Blueberry Lake and uh, find a spot to set up camp for the night. And then, uh, We'll just explore this weekend. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. <laughs> all right, so we are having way too many Canadian moments on this trip. First of all, we couldn't find parking anywhere nearby this castle's lake, and some dude let us park at his house. Free of charge, just a nice guy who loves to see a couple guys out on an adventure. <laughs> now we're hoofing it across this lake, a snowmobile stops just to see if we're all right. Tells us all about Blueberry Lake and he's like, you know what, I'll clear a trail for you. So he literally just ripped off to clear us the snowmobile tracks so that we can follow on the way in. <laughs> literally save the day. Save the day. That's Canada for you. <laughs> it's tough out here, eh? This is nuts, man. This is nuts. This has been a tough trek so far. We just got our heads down and we're gonna see how far we can make it. Hoping to make it to Blueberry Lake, but who the heck knows. As you can see, there's a slush layer. And like every time we step, we're kind of going through and into the slush. It's supposed to be cold tonight, so we're hoping this trail gets packed down pretty nicely. All right, so the slush has been a serious problem so far. We've been trekking as hard as we can along this trail, but we, just, we don't want to go too, too much further because we're gonna have to do it all over again on Monday when we want to head out. So we're gonna try to find a spot in this area to set up shop, but unfortunately, the shoreline is looking pretty thick with bush. So we're not exactly sure what our options are gonna be for setting up this massive tent that we've got. going on guys we are having a pretty rough go on this trip so far <laughs> we could barely film last night because it got so cold and we were pushed for time on getting our tent set up and 
getting everything in here. Give you a little tour of our zone. We got the beds up on this side with like a nice bench set up. We, the bed area is actually built up like pretty wide too. Yeah, that's the side of my hand. Like it's probably like almost two feet high. And then uh, yeah, we just pack we pack snow in behind and put put a layer of boughs down the tarp and then our dry sleeping bags on top. We got the peanut butter bacon wraps out for breakfast this morning. And then down in this zone here is our cooking area and storage zone. So it looks like the wood that we got yesterday it wasn't actually completely dry so it's been tough to get the hot tent really hot. Like it's actually just been like a, a lukewarm tent. <laughs> but this warm food that we're having right now is helping and the coffee and tea that we just made is, is pretty legit. We had that gentleman cut us a path all the way to Blueberry Lake in a snowmobile yesterday and as it turns out, we weren't gonna even be able to make it to there. Well, it took two hours and we hiked 900 meters. <laughs> so that, that should tell it all. <laughs> it was a rough go. We feel a little bit bad that the guy ended up cutting us a whole path, but he actually, like, while he was trying to sell us on Blueberry Lake, he actually kind of dissuaded us. Dissuaded us, yeah. Like, we actually now kind of feel more inclined to go to, like, uh, to just stay on castles here today because the fishing could be better, so. Pickerel. We're gonna go for some pickerel. We still have minnows, actually, surprisingly. The only thing in this whole tent that's not frozen. All right, so it is Sunday right now. We only made it a kilometer in on Castles Lake. It is gorgeous out here though today. No wind, which is a blessing, eh? Yeah, like barely any. And it's like significantly warmer out here in the sun in comparison to like inside the tent. Yeah. Shore lunch. Shore lunch would be awesome today. Pickerel fajitas? Oh man. We should drill a couple holes and put some minnows at different depths. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. This is our minnow bucket. Believe it or not, the minnows are still kicking. Crazy. It's cool. All right, so we're gonna get a tip up set up here. We should have like a little hook with a little weight around this little uh, hockey stick. Grab ourselves a feisty minnow. Oh yeah. So the weight will get the minnow down low where we want her where we want her swimming around. Pulling a couple feet off the bottom.
Bro, I see what you're doing. That's sick. That's not just... I think we should be able to sit on this. Man, it'd be so sick of, how deep are you, do you think? Like, are you off the bottom? Yeah. Or are you like mid? I am off the bottom. You wanna go a little higher? I think like, we should stagger ourselves. Yeah, like right now I'm hitting bottom. Do you wanna go up or I can pull up? You go up right now, then we'll switch. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> that sucked. Are you wet? No. Really? No, guys. Not yet, anyways. Haven't seen through yet. There's a lot of slush out here. We're trying to stay on top, but it's been a little difficult. Man, look at where all these trees are, bro. The old growth? Look at them, man. Look at the size of this tree. We're gonna start at the bottom. And slowly, we're still going. Still going. Still going. You can't even see the top. Crazy. Getting a good measure in. Look how big a, an average tosser is in comparison <laughs> to your old growth lunker. Dude, that's crazy. Oh my god. That tree is literally three tossers wide. <laughs> Found another nice oh, dead fuck. log. Man, that just sounds like dry lumber. Yeah, it's it's rotten down here. Yeah. Right up there, it's pretty good. Nice. We'll take it. I feel like these look good. Yo, look at the sky over the huts right now. Yeah. Incredible, man. It's gorgeous out here, eh? Oh, man. 
Makes it all worth it. Makes it all worth it. Every little bit of cold on this trip. Oh man. Man, the moon is crazy. So nice. Yeah. We have a full moon already tonight. So we are hopeful that that puppy stays out for us. Fish? No, I don't think so. Welcome inside the tent, guys. We had another, we had another fun-filled day. <laughs> Lots of adventure. And now we're just trying to get warm by this fire. We have chili, and not just any kind of chili for dinner, we're having chili wraps. Just because we have wraps left over and we also have some cheese. And so we were thinking like the chili on the wraps with some cheese and maybe some mustard might taste good. So, Toss is just getting this fire going here. Starting to warm up, slowly and surely. We have so much firewood for tonight. We didn't want to mess around. Like last night, we just like did not have enough firewood. And so like this is like our attempt at really making sure we're not messing around this time. So I think, <laughs> I think that goes to show <laughs> that we're not here to mess around. Going nice now. Oh, yeah. Coffee time. It's getting pretty hot, eh? Yeah. We're just tidying up our bed area here. So on this trip, we've had a, like a little jug for water and it completely froze solid. So we kept trying to like put it close to the fire to like melt it as much as possible. But finally this morning we decided we were just gonna cut the top off so we could get at the ice chunks that live on the inside. So we're currently melting them so that we can make some coffee. And then we're just packing up and we're gonna hit the road soon. If you could say one thing that you're hoping for for the walk back, what would it be? Can I, can I say two words? Yeah. No slush. Yeah, no slush. No, no slush. slush. That was brutal on the way in. Man, it's tough to say goodbye to this cozy setup. I know. It just started feeling like home when it started getting warm. <laughs> yeah. When the hot tent actually became the hot tent. And the, the lukewarm tent. <laughs> yeah. You can see the path that we've been marching on the entire time. Like a, a school of ants. All the way out to check our holes. All day yesterday. It's gorgeous out here. It's frigid, but gorgeous. Yo, Tosser, what are you doing there? I'm just putting on the good old snow flippers on. Getting ready for the big hike out. The 900 meter hike out. <laughs> So it looks like we lucked out on the walk out. All of the slush that we were walking on yesterday is now frozen over, so it's actually been a really easy walk so far. 